Ben's about to go on stage in five minutes. This is the glamorous part, Bon, back in this little shit home. Nice. Don't eat yeah. that, Jim. You ready? Yeah. All right, you fuckers. All right, we're gonna go on. See my green fucking dude. His body of work is artistically very formidable. Get it up. There's something really American about it. Like I got to be like a groupie and be a part of an insider group who knew and loved Ike Riley. Uh, and I can see why they did the spontaneity, the deep well of, of poeticness, the irreverence the irony um all of it was was lovely uh and i started my own deep dive of of his music as well it was really cool to see uh the wide array of people from the industry fellow bandmates other musicians uh family his particular family i thought were, were really lovely interviews because you got to see so many different perspectives of his journey and um all of the stories they told spoke about the exact same person, somebody who uh, really was an iconoclast and and lived in that very authentic world. So it was it was lovely to see him marching to the beat of his own music. Uh, I thought this was a great doc because it moved uh, the the pace moved, but there was an experimental nature to it as well. Nice like punk rock aspect to it and. Uh, I thought it was interesting to kind of pose that question of at the beginning of why didn't he make it bigger? Why wasn't he this huge mainstream musician? And uh, I thought it was it was just lovely to kind of parse through and, and see somebody not willing to, to sell out. I don't want to say nitty gritty musician, but you kind of do. You see him grow and it's something... Th- it's an energy I'm familiar with as my father was also a musician as I was growing up. Um, and you kind of see um, him be this rock star and you see it like year by year throughout time. So you're getting a really good steady pace of kind of what um, each year brought to the table of the rise, and I don't want to even say the rise and fall, but the rise of his story and the challenges that they face when it comes to uh, losing your house to the bank or going through the pandemic. And you kind of see them go through the process of living in this uh era of touring to performing house parties to then performing with your family on live streaming and in the end you know this music this generation it's all about uh you know family uh love politics meaning i love that there was so much emphasis on the you know the songs that have become a little bit like more popular for him and how they kind of came to be and how everybody kind of has this really hard time classifying his music, classifying his genre. And, you know, like they were saying, that could be part of why he he didn't kind of take off into the kind of mainstream music. And I really, really loved the, the kind of concept of, somebody loving music and pursuing music for the simple joy of it for them telling being a storyteller and that is how they tell their stories you know i feel like artists in general a lot of the time they the core of what they are are storytellers just the medium and how they do it changes from person to person and from kind of the type of art that they do and th- i think that you know, him being a very obvious sort of storyteller and having music as his medium. Um, and then that just being the simple driving force for him, I thought was really, really beautiful and a really great message because I think that if you look at it in a broader sense, I think everybody kind of gets tripped up on trying to classify things and trying to put things into boxes and trying to, you know, label them. Great uh, legacy holding legacy 
of Ike and his band and like what he left behind. And, um, it seems like he was somebody with so much charisma, so much life, so much love and talent and, um, had a really big effect on his friends and his family. And, um, you know, it is unfortunate that they never blew up really big, but this documentary is awesome and shows so much of um, who he is. Um, I loved his stories. I love the music. I really enjoyed the way that this documentary was structured, how it went through the years of Ike's life and how those years shaped him and all the life events that uh, impacted his songs and his storytelling um, and really his artistry. I, he, Ike Riley is a very different sort of rock star figure who has a devotion to his family and his wife, especially. Um, and someone who has an amazing story to tell, amazing music, and yet he he doesn't um, put too much weight into wanting to be a big star or wanting to make a bunch of money or all that um, commercial stuff. He's really grounded in that way, even though his head is all into you know imagination and um stories he's still very grounded in a way which i thought was interesting and very clear to see by hearing from his family and friends um i loved hearing all the perspectives on ike and his life in all these different stages of that life so i loved hearing from his family and his found family uh and seeing them through the years as well i really loved that it focused a lot on his family um even from when they were kids and the, sto and the uh, songs that came out of that as well. Uh, I loved seeing and hearing about the inspiration for each of his songs. Not every single one, of course, but uh, seeing where he got the inspiration for each of his songs and how these life events changed him. I appreciated that they put his struggles in here as well, um, how he lost his house, how he struggled with alcoholism for a while there, but how he pulled through both things um, really with his music um, and focusing on the things that matter to him the most. The, the part about, you know, this is whole thing being like a family endeavor too, and the wife and mom being so patient and willing to support um, on such a high level is amazing. I think, you know, just seeing those kids up there singing with his dad, their dad. But I love also seeing the behind the story that it's not always easy, you know. Um, but these people all stick together even when they get on each other's nerves. <laughs> I love the song about digging a grave, um, put a little love in it. Just in the creativity on what this guy does that's so unique even though a lot of people write lyrics and put their heart and soul into it, there's just something different about what he does as far as creating a story out of something real. I really liked when he was talking about the commercialism of everything and how you feel pressured to earn a certain amount of money and own certain things. Because I think a lot of artists kind of see that more than maybe even other people. Um, whoever's being creative in this world sometimes struggle, um, you know, creative is, is, as far as the arts go, it can be such a struggle to earn money. It invites you on a journey through the musical work of the artist, um, getting perspectives from everyone his life and his art has touched and influenced. Um, and I, I think it does it really well in terms of allowing you to enjoy some of the music, some of the songs, some of the lyrics, while also hearing what inspired them or how fans or family members um, reacted to the songs. And it's nice to see that woven in with the artist's life as well and get a whole sense throughout the piece.